guys, welcome back to my channel. Just drinking my little water. So yeah, today we're just gonna talk about beautiful life. We're gonna talk about one thing that I feel like isn't talked about a lot, especially in the, uh, the Christian community, and it's offense. It's offense, and I felt like the Holy Spirit spoke to me about offense for like about a half a year now. Um, just. I don't know, I just was thinking like, how can you be friends with an individual or, you know, certain people and you let one offense define the very friendship that took months, years, or even days to uh, develop? So I just want to talk about this topic. I know that this is something that we can all relate to. I've been offended. I feel like offense is inevitable. I mean, just as long as we live in this world, it's not something that we, uh, we can stray away from. So let's talk about how to deal with this. So I believe that offense is one of the sole purposes for division. It's like you say something wrong, you do something wrong, and regardless of the intentions, sometimes this can just totally separate two individuals. I've personally been offended and I see it in and outside of the Christian community. It's just something that this world, just as long as we live in this world, people, you'll get offended because we're humans, we have standards, and certain things are going to bother us and certain people are not going to get it. Sometimes people have malicious intent and sometimes people don't even know, like, you'll be offended by that. So yeah, offense cuts pretty deep, like, it uh, breaks covenant. It leads to gossip, it leads to bitterness, and it gives birth to so much other sin. Um, and then I thought to myself, is it possible to be unoffended in a way that you know the offense is there, but at the end of the day, like, you're not going to react to that. And then I was like, okay, look in the word, because that is the truth. So let's go to uh, Luke 17 verse 1 so it says then said he unto the disciples it is impossible but that offenses will come but woe unto him through whom they will come so jesus confirms that it is possible to walk in love regardless if offense is there because like i said offense is inevitable we all get hurt by different things it's something that we we have to deal with but as far as our reaction we do have control over that so i was like okay fine fine god yes so we can walk in love but then after that i was like okay like let let me see how god handles offense we don't notice that every single day when we sin it doesn't please god it even says that in romans 8 8 he gets offended by us walking in sin how does he react and he reacts in love we are given mercy and grace regardless of what we do we can repent at any moment um, and I think that's the beautiful thing about grace and mercy that is freely given to us. So quickly, I just want to turn to uh, 1 Corinthians 13, and I'm reading from the Amplified Version. So it says, love bears all things, regardless what comes, but leaves all things, looking for the best in each one, hopes all things, remaining steadfast during difficult times, endures all things without weakening. And the line that struck at my heart was looking for the best in each one. So I know that when you're offended, Honestly, when I'm offended, I'm like, I'm not looking at the best in them. Like, truthfully, when you're offended, you're looking at that one offense. You're not looking at when they were there for you. You're not looking at all their good qualities. You're not looking at how good of a person they are or how God sees them. You're looking at that one offense and you're defining that person off of that one offense. And honestly, at the end of the day, you start to partner with the enemy and you start to replace certain things in your mind. Like, ew, like, look at their heart. Like, they are the worst person in the world, this person is evil. And as you replay it and replay it, you're building up this wall of defense. It's like, I don't even want to deal with you because you hurt me and I'm, I'm not going to forgive you. You're not about to be in my life anymore because you hurt me. You build a wall of protection and it produces even more temptation. And the truth is, the enemy wants us to be offended. He wants to cause division. It's this verse in Acts chapter 24 verse 16 and it says, exercising to have a conscience without offense towards God and men. And I feel like that is what he wants us to live out. And this video was not to say like I never get offended or I never react in a way that I'm like daddy. Like 
you reacted totally in your flesh right now but it's kind of like to have us both unlearn like this whole habit of being offended at the end of the day because if god did it i'm sure he can grace us to do it and it's not his will for one offense to separate his people and it's honestly a process and it's a journey for all of us let's talk about some practical things we can apply to our life because i always want to leave you guys with like some practical advice so the first thing is rehearsing the positive because I know that sometimes like truth be told I can be offended by something that uh, my boyfriend said and I'm like oh my gosh like is he he's like this evil person like he's so negative one thing that can help me is like rehearsing the positive like remember when blank did this for you maybe blank was having a bad day and you start to just name like the good qualities of the person and it's like you can say things like out loud once you're offended you take that one offense sometime and you define the entire person not remembering all the good qualities or when they were there for you or what kind of person they really are so i think that reverse and a positive will definitely help um, the next tip I would say is to definitely spend time with God to have him kind of give you his heart for the person. And I do this sometimes too. I am still doing this for someone. Um, and it helps when you're praying and you're asking God, um, God, I need you to help me to love this person. Help me to um, see this person as you see them. Like that is the will of God. He's not going to be like, no. He is going to let everything that comes to pass that is alignment to his word and his will. Um, so I think that you sitting with the Holy Spirit and asking God to help me have a change heart for this person. Help me to see this person as you see them. Reveal good qualities and characteristics um, about this person because at the end of the day right now I'm feeling like they're kind of evil God. You know and like he appreciates when you're honest. It's not his will to have you sit in misery, you know? So I think that sitting with the Holy Spirit, like I said, is definitely a great tip. Lastly, I think that you should uh, study how God overcame offense because at the end of the day, he of all people, like I said, should be offended with the way that he suffered, with the way that people rejected him and like how malicious they were towards him. Um, study how he overcame it. And I know I studied one day and found a verse in uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 23, and it says, When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to him who judges justly. So he knew it was going to have the last word. So he didn't just return like malicious behavior to those individuals that were hurting him. But it's like, you know what? At the end of the day, like I know I'm God. <laughs> like, these people... Like, they don't know yet, but they gonna know. Like, so I feel like we should have that attitude as well. Like, we shouldn't have to defend ourselves. Like, God knows. Like, pray for that person. So when you pray for somebody or you pray for the relationship to get better or when that person has, like, qualities that you don't like, if it is, like, ill intent behind the offense, prayer and partnering with God can give you so much more and activate so much like tremendous goodness way more than your flesh can <laughs> at the end of the day so i think those three tips would help you overcome offense and like i said i um am grateful that god is like teaching me like day after day it's still his will for us to walk in love regardless of the offense so i hope that this video helped this is something that i really wanted to talk about for a while i feel like this is not talked about um, and like I said, this channel is a safe space. This is me being vulnerable. We talk about things that hurt us. I talk about things that hurt me and that's the type of content I want to create. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If I'm not on YouTube, you can follow me at Soul Style Beauty on Twitter, on Instagram and Snapchat. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.